Have you ever wondered what the fastest Arduino board is out there? What about the slowest? Let's put them through a race and find out who comes in first. Okay, here is every single Arduino board ever made. I mean, okay, not yours, because you'd probably like stab me with a knife, but, and maybe it's not every board, but we do have one from each of the families. We've got the classic footprint. We've got the Megas, the Makers, the Nanos, and the Pros. And the way we're going to speed test these is more than just looking at the specs on the sales page, because, you know, specs can be a little deceptive. Instead, we're going to use a measure called the Core Mark. It's a CPU performance benchmark designed specifically for microcontrollers by the EEMBC, which is the EDN Embedded Microprocessor Benchmark Consortium. And when the acronym for your consortium name has its own acronym, then, I mean, this has got to be legit. So basically, they came up with this code. You run it on your microcontroller. It puts it through the ropes. It's like American Gladiator for microcontrollers. Basically, it measures the number of times per second the microcontroller can do things like matrix multiplications, executing a state machine, brewing coffee, like typical microcontroller stuff. So I'm just going to pick these boards at random, load the core mark code, and then we'll see the result. Throw them on a leaderboard. Okay, let's do this. All right, I'm going to start with the Arduino Mega. Got it hooked up. All right, let me... Okay, iterations per second is the main benchmark result. Higher numbers are better running so it's usually it takes 12 to 20 seconds one okay so the score is 7.50 okay mega's in first place all right got a nano 33 ble board now waiting for it whoa 105 28 that's a lot okay Phew. that blew ahead of the mega man all right i got this maker Vidor 4000. Let's see what this runs at. All right, let's uh, find this Vidor. There it is. Oh, interesting. Okay, 54.68. 4000. Man, with a name like that, you'd think it'd be up there. Okay, let's do another one. Here's one from the classic family. I mean, it's not too classic because it's new. It's the Arduino Uno R4 Minima. Let's check this one out. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. 72.7. Leader boy. Okay. Nano BLE. Man, the small one's packing the biggest punch right now. All right. It's, it's not Nano E. That sounds like a planet in Star Wars or something. All right. Let's pick another. All right. Here's an Arduino Nano Every. Oh, okay. 8.2. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do the new Uno R4 Wi-Fi. Well, you know, I think this is the same board as the, uh, I think it's the same board as the Minima, or I'm sorry, the same processor. Let's see if it's any different. Man, the R4 Wi-Fi is like, I ain't doing it. I'll do what I want. I'll do what I want. All right, 72.7. Now, what is that? Is that the same as the... Yeah, same thing. Okay. Should have... Fit. I guess I knew that. Well, I just wanted to test, is it actually going to be the same? So, the Uno R4 Wi-Fi, same, same processor as the Uno R4 Minima. So, we should expect them to be... Well, this just validates that the uh, this core metric thing is is legit, maybe, you know. Okay, there we go. So we got the Nano, the Unos, the new R4s, the Maker Vidor 4000, the Nano Every, and the Mega. All right, let's get another board. Let's go with the Arduino RPi 2040. All right, it's supposed to have that Raspberry Pi silicon on there. Let's see what we got. Whoa, there it is, RP, Nano RP 2040. Let's clear the serial monitor. JLC PCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. There's easy ordering. Order PCBs from JLC PCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get an instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as shopping online. Get one to eight layer PCBs for just $2. Efficient, large scale production, reducing costs, and bringing you unbeatable prices. Plus, the quality and lead time is reliable. All in-house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Plus, rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. 
Don't miss JLC PCB's six layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality six layer PCBs, plus no engineering fees for VIA in pad. Oh, whoa, look at that, 153, I think that might be, oh man, yep, look at that. Okay, whoa, our pie jumped into the lead. Man, over almost 50 faster than the Nano BLE 33. All right, let's get another board. Let's go with an Arduino Leonardo. Man, this Leonardo board doesn't want to connect. You know what? I got another one. Let me check that one. Well, that was kind of a pain in the butt, but I think it's running right now. Okay, I, I think it's resetting. So I, I don't think it... Oh, uh, let me look at my chart. Okay, Arduino Leonardo... 16 megahertz you know what i don't think oh man so it looks like the arduino leonardo as i'm checking my chart here and I, I i saw this a little bit as i was doing some research on it you need a minimum amount of like ram to be able to do this and i think the arduino leonardo is too low to even run this test i'm gonna give it a negative one that's kind of disappointing i still love you man let's go with the arduino zero let's check this one out Uh, okay, 5522. Oh, just, just past the maker of the door. Okay, let's pick another board. Let's try the uh, Nano ESP32. Whoa! 388.02. Nice. Did that unseat the champ? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, those ESP32s. Nano ESP3, brother, that just got unseated. All right, let's see, Z to A. Let me double check that number. Wow, okay, 388.02. I just wanna check that chart. I'm just curious. <clears throat> I'm just curious, wanna check this chart here. Um, now, where is it, ESP3, I know what's on here. Oh, it's down in the, I put it in the ESP32 section. Yeah, 240 megahertz. That would do it. All right, sweet. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, let's do the Arduino Maker 1000. I've been messing with Arduino so long, you'd think I'd know which port to select, but I don't know. Got like a 50-50 chance. All right, 5463. That seems pretty close to 5463. Slightly different. Okay, Maker 1000. Does that have the same? What processor does that one have? Sam D21 Cortex M0. Yeah, should be the same thing. Okay, so all these Maker boards are running the same 48 megahertz. So, okay, I mean, that's pretty damn close. Rounding error. All right, let's pick another board. All right, let's go with the Arduino Duo now. Due. Ooh, hey, that's pretty fast. 94.95, like that. Let's put her on the leaderboard. Okay, the Dway's in fourth place, nice. Next board. All right, this one's kind of older, I think. It's the uh, Uno Wi-Fi R2 board. I don't, I don't know what this is. I think it's an old Arduino Wi-Fi board, but not the R4, let's find out. This is what I love about Arduino, the fact that I can just pop all these different boards onto my computer and the Arduino IDE for 95% of them has given me no issues. That's pretty sweet. Oh, oh, wow. 8.2. Hmm. Not very far up there. All right. Oh, it's right up there with the Nano Every. I wonder if they've got the same processor. I don't know if I've got the Arduino Wi-Fi on here. I don't think I do. No, I don't. I don't even know if they make the Arduino Wi-Fi anymore, to be honest. Okay, on to the next board. Two boards here. They got the same processor. Well, a lot of these boards have the same. They got the classic Arduino Uno, and then the predecessor of the Uno, which was the Du Milanove. These are the these all run the Mega 328P, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, yeah, 328P for the Arduino Uno R3. Uh, I don't have the Duemo Velo 
Do Milanuevo, because again, I don't think they're making that. I'm, I'm sure they're not making that anymore. But the Arduino Nano also has the 328, so they should be the same. I guess we can test that. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is telling us that there is not enough space on our dear old friend Uno, the Uno R3 to even run the test. So, oh, I hate to do it. Got to give it a negative one. Maybe we'll have a loser's bracket. Maybe, And then maybe what we'll do is we'll just line these up by, we'll use a different metric if it can't run on here. Uh, okay, let's do that real quick. Okay, I moved the Arduino Uno R3 and the Leonardo over to the We Still Love You bracket because um, they don't have enough RAM to uh, do the core mark score, right? So I'm just putting their speed up here and they're both tied. They got 16 megahertz. Okay, let's choose another board. All right, this is the Maker Zero board. Okay, it comes in at 5463. I think that's like some of the other ones. Obviously, yeah, look at that, 64. So these Maker ones are all... I think they're all using the same same chipset. All right, Maker, that was the Maker Zero. Okay, I mean, you know, that's not unreasonable. Let's, uh, all right. Okay, Nano ESP32 still in first place. Okay, so let's choose another board. Next board. All right, let's do the Giga R1 Wi-Fi. Whoa, whoa, okay. Th man, all right, it ain't messing around. Giga Wi-Fi. 1388 whoa that's orders of magnitude bigger holy moly all right that was i guess maybe i should have expected that that's a beast plus man it's got a ton of io it's a it's a neat board a little pricier of course but um okay next board all right we're running low on board wait i already tested those ones we're running low on boards uh so we're getting down here but a lot of these uh, i don't I think quite a few of these probably have the same processor, like that Nano, I think has a 328, so I don't even think it's going to run the micro, maybe we just, we'll just run them real quick, and then the uh, maker boards, I think those have the same processor um, as the uh, other one did, but let, let's just try and find out. Alright, well, let's go with one of the pro boards, this is a Nikola Sense Me. Sense Me. I was like, where's the board? Always say yes. All right, 108. Not, I guess I was expecting like, I don't know why I was thinking it'd be super fast. I mean, it says pro. All right, definitely up there. Got it in the top five. All right, next board. Let's check out this Arduino Micro. I don't, again, I don't know if they make these boards either anymore. I got a bad feeling about this one for some reason. They can't handle it, and so it's getting reset. Okay, next board. All right, here is a Nano... 33 IOT. I mean, half the battle is just plugging it in. I Let's make a prediction. Oh, maybe. We... Oh, I think it's going to be like that one, right? 105, 28. Oh, maybe not. 54, 68. Okay. That's like the uh, maker boards. Okay, next board. All right, here is the Nano 33 Sense. It's a BLE board. 105 36 105.0 okay so that's like the same as the nano ble okay i should have figured okay you know i should have figured that these were going to be the same because i think the only difference between the nano 33 ble and the nano 33 ble sense are these have some sensors on them and uh, these don't so that's pretty much the same number okay very formidable boards. All right, let's go to the next board. All right, here is the Maker Wi-Fi 110. I'm thinking it's going to be in the 54 range. Again, I think it's using that same processor. Let's find out how it does. All right, yeah, 54.63. All right, just like the other Maker boards. Okay, next board. All right, here's the Nano. I know it's not going to work, but I'm going to try anyway. Never mind, I don't have a Nano. I have a Nano somewhere, but I can't find it. It runs the 328P, so it's going to be the same as our uh, other circle there. Okay, let's do this Maker Maker Juan 1300. I had a neighbor named Juan when I was growing up. I guess I need to reset. I'm not sure if the Maker Juan 1310 replaces the 1300. I'm gonna have to do a little research there, but I've got the 1300. All right, I guess it's gonna be 54.63. I just put my finger on it, you know, to feel how hot it was and I was able to 
calibrate that to know the exact performance. Oh man, I was so close, 5468. I need to do a recalibration. Okay, all right, so it's again just these maker boards are all running the same uh, same chipset. Okay, yeah, so the Maker One 1310 replaces this old Maker One 1300. It uses the old, the new one still uses the same uh, the same chipset though the same D21 but apparently the 1310 has better uh, battery power. Okay, we're down to the last board. Let's do it. All right, this is the only other Pro family one I have. I'll have to get some other ones here, but this is the Portentia H7. Oh whoa! Okay, one one three three eight five. Does that put it up at the? Oh, it's still below. Okay, maybe we didn't test every Arduino board out there, but we did test quite a few. This is 25. First place came in with the Giga R1 Wi-Fi, followed very closely by the Portenta. ESP32 is great, but I mean, these these are really in a kind of a field of their own here. And then, you know, down to the Mega at uh, 7.5. And then, of course, we've got uh, some of these boards that couldn't run the test, and they're all at the 16 megahertz. Okay, so practically, what's it mean, though? Do you want the fastest board? that there is like do you really want a Lamborghini for your work car you know does that make sense I mean I guess that'd be cool but you know what I'm saying when you think about what your application is 16 megahertz that's 16 million instructions per second that's pretty stinking fast for let's say you need to open a chicken coop door or you know I don't know sense something in your greenhouse like do you you know what I'm saying you got to use the right tool for the job now I know I mentioned you know I was referring to this chart again check the description you can download this uh, chart and there's again there's like it's like a little bundle it's got a written description about it's like an Arduino buying guide so you can get that again check the description or this uh, this QR code right here now if you want to run this test yourself watch this video right here it's going to show you how to do it super simple download some code and uh, I'll just you know I'll just walk through how to do it in this video right here.